Hi everyone, and welcome to this experimental project about water injection. The materials we used were white fishbowl sand, an injection production system, a container with volume measures, water, five hoses, sticky plaster, glue, a funnel, oil, tape, scissors, highlighters, a blue marker, and a torch. The injection production system has a sand chamber and a fluid chamber, and their sizes are One of the phases has five production holes in the upper part The other one has 34 injection holes The system base has a hole whereby sand is introduced Part number one, displacement of air by water The objective is to quantify the system porosity How did we do it? We injected 2,000 cubic centimeters of water in the purpose medium for reaching a water saturation of 100% and recreate the first reservoir days. The water starts to move into the purpose medium and air is displaced. The displacement profile is due to the difference between the densities of the fluids. Water is denser than air, so it goes down. <laughs> We recovered 1,800 cubic centimeters of water, so the purse volume was 200 cubic centimeters and the porosity was 0.27. Part 2. Displacement of water by oil. The objective is to obtain the initial water saturation sphere. How did we do it? We injected 1,000 cubic centimeters in the porous medium to recreate the oil migration to the stratigraphic trap. Oil is too much denser than water and it makes mobility ratio so low. That's good because the displacement profile is very uniform. The injection and displacement process was very, very, very slow. For that reason, oil contacted all the porous medium. We recovered 180 of the initial 200 cubic centimeters of water. That means our sphere was 0.1. Part number 3. Water injection as recovery method. The objective is to produce oil and calculate the recovery factor and the cost per barrel. How did we do it? We injected 2000 cubic centimeters of water in the porous medium again, but this time for recovering oil. Water is less viscous than oil, and for it, preferential canals were created. The high mobility ratio between the fluids didn't make possible a good volumetric efficiency. After one hour, we recovered 100 milliliters of oil. After that, we noticed that oil volume produced didn't change. Applying water injection in this system, we obtained a recovery factor of 56%. For calculating the cost per barrel, we used the water volume injected for recovering 100 milliliters of oil. We calculate the cost of that water with an electric bill, and then we extrapolated it to the volume of one oil barrel. 